In this session, we will take a look behind the React Native curtain to understand how it allows us to use web technologies to build native applications for the different platforms. While this knowledge is not essential for React Native development, however, it does make us better developers in the long run. So let's go. To understand how React Native renders our components to the different native platforms, let's take a look at the simple example of rendering the React Native view component to the screen. Now React Native will take this declaration for the desire of having a view component and then eventually render a platform specific component. For example, on an Android device, it will render the native view group component and on an iOS device, it will render the native UI view. Now, of course, this means that there is some level of interop that needs to happen between the native component and our JavaScript code. The great thing about React Native is that all of this interop code is also going to be running on the native platform that we are targeting. One key responsibility of this interop layer is to create shadow versions that will maintain the link between what we wanted in the view and what got rendered to the native device. A key part of this interop is the React Native renderer called Fabric. This is something that is now written in C++ and will be maintaining the shadow versions of our components. Now to enable the communication between our JavaScript code and the Fabric core written in C++, React Native has this thing called the JavaScript interface or JSI. This interface allows React Native to asynchronously or even synchronously for critical things like scroll events communicate between our JavaScript code and the native components. And this is where the JSI would fit in the more complete architecture diagram that we have been building. Now, in addition to deciding which particular component to render for the different platforms, React Native will also be transforming our styles to the individual styling props that are required for the different native components. Now, a key part of styling with CSS, and some would argue the critical part of styling with CSS, is calculating the layout. And React Native has a solution for that in the form of Yoga. At its core, it is a layout engine written in C++, designed specifically to do efficient calculations for the Flexbox layout system. And since it is written in C++, it gets neatly integrated into the Fabric renderer within React Native. So even though we are writing simple JavaScript components, there is a lot that is happening behind the scenes, taking our JavaScript logic and making it feel as native as possible. And fortunately, throughout most of our React Native journey, all of this complexity is abstracted away from us, and we can mostly focus on our JavaScript code, building great experiences for our consumers. In the next lesson, we will continue our exploration of additional React Native components. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one.